guys you welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to watch my videos make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel because why not if you're not subscribed at this point i don't know what you're waiting for make sure you subscribe for premium content maximum enjoyment and turn on your post notifications so whenever i post a new video you'll be the first to know stick around to the end of this video because we're about to have a heart sales conversation one-on-one -on -one, just like we always do on this channel and today i was talking about something that has been on my mind for a while now and i decided to bring it up you know um to this channel to talk about it and i'm not a pastor disclaimer i'm not a pastor i'm not an evangelist i'm not you know whatever it is a bishop or <laughs> or anything i'm just a girl a believer you know who loves god and basically wants to share our own opinion and wants to help other people i don't know how many people would see this video but i trust that this video meets you well and you're able to learn one or two things from it so stick around to the end of this video so basically so i'll be sharing five tips on how you can build your or strengthen your intimacy with the holy spirit and this is more like a gen z edition because like i said i'm not a pastor and there are just things that have basically worked for me the first thing i wrote here is build a desire and <laughs> guys you know when they say you, you must first have even the bible says you must first have a willing mind a willing heart so if you genuinely desire the holy spirit you will you know have the holy spirit you must first desire the holy spirit in your life if the holy spirit is not an intruder he only comes into the lives of those that desire him so if you really want the holy spirit you must first even though if you don't it's fine if you don't have a desire create one find one you know dig it out if you have to you know start or deprive yourself of certain things just make sure you have a desire of the holy spirit and if it is in your heart then god will definitely give you the holy spirit the holy spirit has been assigned to every believer but you need to activate the holy spirit before the holy spirit begins to manifest in your life before the holy spirit becomes active for you because the holy spirit is for you and not for jesus the holy spirit is not for god the holy spirit is for you even jesus while he was ascending he said he will send you a helper he will teach you of things to come and you know he will basically is the spirit of truth and he will guide you into all truth so um, if you must have the Holy Spirit, you must first have a willing heart, a willing mind. You must desire and crave for the Holy Spirit genuinely. Because many a times, you know, we want to have the Holy Spirit so we can do the works of the Holy Spirit. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. If you understand what I'm saying, please say I understand in the comment section. I'm not a teacher, but like, many a times, we want to have the Holy Spirit because of the works of the Holy Spirit, the manifestations of the Holy Spirit because of what we can get from the holy spirit we must build intimacy to a level of i want to know the holy spirit as a person i want the holy spirit to be my partner just like you have you know your your school partner your work partner your colleague your lover or whatever relationship you might have we need to build a level of intimacy with the holy spirit so when we first have a desire desire is like the starting point you must first have a desire before you know you can graduate <laughs> before you can build a level of intimacy with the holy spirit i think that's like the basis first a desire whether you have the holy spirit in you or not whether you are seeking to build, you know make your relationship with the holy spirit stronger if you already have the holy spirit you must desire the holy spirit more if you want to build a level of intimacy you must desire the holy spirit more you know the level of desire you are operating now you need a higher level if you want to advance your relationship with the holy spirit basically so that is the first thing i think any believer you know should have first a desire for the holy spirit if you must grow with the holy spirit like i said the holy spirit is a person the holy spirit is not an idea or an imagination or a thinking the Holy Spirit is a person just like you relate with your siblings, your friends, your mom, your dad, people around you. The Holy Spirit is also a person and we must understand the personality of the Holy Spirit in order to grow, you know, with the Holy Spirit. The second thing I wrote here is make investment. And this is basically making investment just like how you make um, 
business investment, you invest in things you want to see results from, you need to make investments intentionally, emphasis on intentionally. You need to make investments in your word life and your prayer life and your passion life also because there are certain things that you, know, you need to do. Like fasting, for example, is one of them. To unlock certain levels, you need fasting. And um, if you want to build intimacy with the Holy Spirit, basically, you need to make investments intentionally. Now, as believers, we do not assume investment we do not assume that i'm making progress in my prayer life i do not assume that i'm making progress in my word life i intentionally build and make investment then i know that i'm making investments and i'm making progress in this area so the same thing with the holy spirit if you must build intimacy with the holy spirit then you have to make investment many a times god speaks to us through his word you know, through prayer, instructions, and most of the things the Holy Spirit will drop in your spirit man or in your heart will come from the place of prayer, not just the place of prayer, the Word. So it is when you have built a level of intimacy to a point, you know, you can be on the road, the Holy Spirit ministers, you know, to you. And many a times people say, oh, I just heard it in my spirit man, or the Holy Spirit just said to me, or the Lord just said to me. It's not because they assume, it's because they actually heard from the holy spirit and they they have they have built a level of intimacy that the holy spirit communes with them so we must learn and grow ourselves to the point where we have communion with the holy spirit one of the ways the holy spirit actually speaks to me personally sometimes is through god's word and sometimes i just you know a scripture just pops up in my heart or i just receive something in my spirit and i'm like okay the holy spirit just said this to me it doesn't have to be one majestic voice from heaven you know one dramatic display it can be different for everybody so what works for you works for you the holy spirit speaks to us in different ways he ministers to us you know differently you just have to make investments and be intentional with your investments and then the holy spirit begins to manifest so the next thing i wrote you. here is this is the third point avoid distractions there are some times that i just want to like i just want to be still and distractions now in this sense especially in this generation a form of it can be social media <laughs> i remember a time in my life where i was super addicted to social media especially facebook too, and i Facebook most especially and then I don't know somehow God helped me anyway. We must build our secret place to a level whereby even when we are not on our knees in one corner of you know our bed, the Holy Spirit is able to speak to us and we are able to pick signals because the real thing is picking signals. There are many people that receive the Holy Spirit, you know, and all that, but they are not still in their spirits. They have a lot of things going on in, on their minds and they are just every day. Then when the Holy Spirit speaks, they don't even know. They cannot say that this is the Holy Spirit speaking, or the Holy Spirit just said something, or the Holy Spirit just told me, you know, or just gave me an instruction, basically. The next thing here is practice, guys. I can't count how many times the Holy Spirit has given me instructions, and then I, I just decide to wave it off. I'm like, I didn't hear that. I pretend like, it's not me that they are talking to, especially instructions that don't, especially instructions that seem unassuming. You know, there are some instructions that the Holy Spirit will give you. They sound, they, they seem foolish. They don't look like it. It looks like the abnormal. But the, the the twist to it is that every time, for every time, the Holy Spirit gives you instruction, you carry them out. The Holy Spirit, like I said, is not an intruding spirit. If the Holy Spirit gives you an instruction and you do not follow it or if you do not carry out that assignment or whatever he has given to you, then the Holy Spirit might not reveal himself unto you anymore. Just like any other relationship, if you are trying to advise somebody and the person is not taking your piece of advice, it will definitely come to a point whereby you are like, I'm just going to leave this person alone. I'm not going to bother you anymore. Do what works for you and you know, so we have to constantly practice what the Holy Spirit tells us to do by time. It might seem unassuming, like I said. It might sound foolish. It might look weird. Like, Holy Spirit, if I do this, I'm going to be the weird one among my friends. But practice 
you know, when we continue to practice, then we begin to grow in intimacy with the Holy Spirit. The last thing I wrote here is get addicted. Just like how you, you might be addicted to your phone or any other thing, or a person instead, because, you know, some people might be really addicted, addicted to persons. Like I said, get addicted, you know, to the Holy Spirit. Don't let a day pass by without you hearing from the Holy Spirit. I have someone that will always ask me, what is God telling you? What did God say today? And <laughs> those things just, you know, they make me conscious. Sometimes I ask myself, Joy, what has the Holy Spirit, you know, told you today? What has God said to you today? Because God speaks to us every day, but are our ears open to signals? Is our heart open to receive? So many a times believers are like, oh, I can't hear from the Holy Spirit or I've done everything and the Holy Spirit is not still speaking to me. We've gotten addicted to the point whereby we master the Holy Spirit's leadings because for me, like I said, it's more of application than an idea. It's more of reality. It's more of practice. So the more you practice, the more sound you become in receiving from the Holy Spirit, basically. I don't know if that is grammatically correct, but see that we you get the message I'm trying to pass across. Try and engage the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, what's up? It's not that deep, personally. I feel like the, the relationship we have with the Holy Spirit should not be that deep. And when I mean should not be that deep, I'm not saying take the Holy Spirit for granted. No, do not give the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit is in the little details of your life. The Holy Spirit can get involved in, you know, what outfit should I wear today? Holy Spirit, do I take this route? Holy Spirit, do I do this? Holy Spirit, how do you want my day to go? Holy Spirit, you know, even in the day-to-day -day activities, the Holy Spirit is there. So it is in engaging the Holy Spirit in all of these things that you master the act of hearing from the Holy Spirit and build a level of intimacy with Him. So guys, I hope this few tips has been helpful to someone out there. Please make sure you engage, you know, engage this video, like it so that other people can reach other people. And if you have questions, contributions, kindly drop them in the comment section. I'd like to hear and interact with you guys. And until I come your way again, you guys know, you guys know what to do. Subscribe to my channel, share this post to one or two persons that you know you know, might be struggling to hear from the Holy Spirit or struggling to build a level of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Basically, you have the flow. It's you and the Holy Spirit. Don't ever try to pretend with the Holy Spirit. If you are not fine, talk to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you know what happened today. I know, yes, He followed you. He was with you everywhere you went. But commune with the Holy Spirit. Engage the Holy Spirit. And you'll see how your life does. Fun. But anywho, anyhow, anyways, I'll see you guys on my next video. Make sure you engage, like I said, and share this video to one or two persons that you love till I come your way again. I love you, but God loves you absolutely more. I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.